What's good, YouTube? What's good, y'all? We back with another YouTube video for y'all, man. We did some Overwatch today. I got something to say. I'm rhyming, I'm freestyling. I didn't even try to do it. But it's a depressing day for Doommates. We got a new skin. We don't care about that new skin, man. It's not even that good. It's not even that good. It's not even like top three best Doomfist skins. I guess I love One Punch Man, but the skin is not that great. The um, the Kiriko skin is way better. Just, that's a big punch right there. That's a big punch. Um, but look, man, we need a buff. We just need something. It needs to be a little like this. Make like why has he got to be so hard to play? Why is Doomfist got to be so hard to play? He's a tank. All the other tanks are easy. All of them. Every other tank is easy to play. So we don't. Well, Hammond. Hammond's also hard to play. Bro, uh, tell me why I got caught a no skill Hammond yesterday, like a few days ago. Tell me why. Why? No skill Hammond? That doesn't even make sense. Hey, look, man. If, when you play Doofus as tank, and Doofus is my favorite character in the game, so I'm always going to have a little bit of bias towards him. So, look, man. Doofus is. Look at this. We can bash and chew me in my bag. Here comes Zenny. I'm dead. But look, man. We just need buffs, bro. We need some type of buff. We need to get our punch cooldown back. We need to get our empower punch buff. Like our punch cooldown needs to be three seconds. Empower punch needs to do more damage and a longer stun. If we could do that, that was all I'm asking for. That's all I'm asking for. Just that. I feel like that's not much to ask for when Doomfist is literally the hardest or second hardest tank to play. I think he's the hardest because he's the hardest to escape with. Escaping with Doomfist is so hard to do compared to like Ball, Diva, even um, even um, Sigma you can escape with him because you can just use his shield, use his kinetic grasp, use his accretion rock. You can definitely get away pretty easy without having to worry about much. He has, like, and, it, and his ultimate is not even that good. It's not, actually, it's, not that. it's not good at all. It's just bad. It's, his ultimate's bad, bro. I don't know why, like, I don't know why it's that bad. Like, it's just not good. It's not gonna kill anyone unless they're low or you hit them in the right, directly middle of their circle and they're not a tank. But, like, the other ults are just, just get so much more value out of them. His power punch is still not, it's not, his power punch is definitely good. Not bad. It's not like, it's not enough, I don't, I feel like. Like, the, your skill level with Doomfist has to be way above all the other tanks to get value out of them. That doesn't make sense to me. I feel like that doesn't, that makes literally no sense. Same thing with Genji. Um, and the high tier characters, I love high tier characters in every game because it makes it more fun and it's, you get more value out of learning them getting good with those characters so high skill that when you are that high skill with them it's hard for the other team to play against you but i don't think that in this game that they value that so they don't make the high skill characters as rewarding as the lower skill characters like right now who's better dingy or symmetry like symmetry's way better than him She's way easier to play than him. It doesn't make sense. To me. To me, it doesn't make sense. I don't uh like it just doesn't make any sense to me. I don't understand why a character that's that easy to play is so much better than a character that is very, very hard to play and very, very skill intensive. And then have the lower HP pool, and then it's just hard to use. Like it doesn't make sense. I feel like I mean, if anyone can explain that to me in the comment section down below. Give me some type of insight on that. I just don't understand the concept of these characters are very, very hard to play, but for some reason, they're not as rewarding as characters that are easier to play. Like, Torbjorn is way better than Gen. Like, Torbjorn is very, very strong. Because all you have to do is just, just primary fire from afar. You can just shoot him. It's almost like you're shooting Junkrat. And then he has a turret that auto shoots for you. Like, and then he gets extra health and he can run away or engage with that extra health. He gets overshield. 
Pretty sure he, does he, um, he gets increased speed and everything. While Genji gets a deflect that you have to aim properly to even deflect and can't even deflect everything. So like, it's just ridiculous, man. I think that the high skill characters should be the best characters in the game after when you can get to that high skill level. I, and, and at the moment they're not. I don't think that that's a good game design, especially for a competitive game like Overwatch is supposed to be. But that's pretty much all I had to say in this video, man. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Nah. <laughs>